Hello everyone. Welcome back to the science class. Today we are going to start a new chapter from your science horizon book that is chapter 8 adaptations how plants survive so children before going to the chapter i want to discuss some important things regarding this chapter related to this chapter okay so first one is habitat what is habitat the surrounding where a living things live and survive is known as its habitat okay living things that may be plants or animals a living body in its surrounding in a particular place where it lives grow reproduce perform all the biological activities and die is known as its habitat children on the earth surface due to presence of air water it is possible for the living bodies to survive and perform their daily activities but the climate of the earth surface is not same everywhere that's why the living bodies that may be plants or animals they have some special features which help them to survive in their habitat and those special features are known as adaptive features so students the surrounding where plants and animals live is known as their habitat and to survive in their habitat in different climates of their habitat living bodies have plants and animals have some special features which help them to survive in the habitat and those special features are known as adaptive features clear and students now come what is adaptation as your as the name suggest here adaptation so what is adaptation the special features or the adaptive features which help the living bodies to survive in their habitat is known as adaptation when any living body that may be plant or animal can survive in its habitat with the help of its adaptive features that is known as adaptation so children all the plants animals insects all the living bodies living on this earth surface has some special features or adaptive features in this chapter we are going to study about the special features or the adaptations of plants okay students all of you know that in the earth surface as there are different climatic conditions we found so there are different adaptive features of different plants to survive actually our earth surface is divided into two parts land and water there are some plants which live on land are known as terrestrial plants and the plants which live in or on water surface are known as aquatic plants here children these are two types of plants surviving on the earth surface understood and these terrestrial plants and aquatic plants they adapt the habitat and survive on the earth understood now children today we are going to study about terrestrial plants so what is terrestrial plants the plants which live on 
land are known as terrestrial plant now children the land mass is divided into different types different kinds the land masses are of different types okay so they are mountains plains deserts sea coast and areas with heavy rainfall areas where there is heavy rainfall so the land of the earth surface is divided into these five categories where plants can survive with the help of their adaptive features they adapt they adapt these habitats with the help of some adaptive features today let us discuss some uh, types of lands where different types of plants survive first one is mountains children trees or plants which grow on mountains are tall they are straight they stand straight and they are cone shaped actually all of you know the climate on mountain is very cold so the trees they are very tall they stand straight they have cone shaped you can see in this picture see the picture okay pine tree the other tree and fir tree they are straight they stand straight they are tall in height and they are cone shaped okay they are cone shaped the tip is pointed they are cone shaped understood why why the trees growing in mountains are cone shaped because students all of you know that there is snowfall in the mountain areas and the cone shaped of the trees help that them to help to slide down the snow or the water and prevent the plants prevent the trees from rotting understood the leaves of these plants also needle like and have a waxy coating on them here also the reason is same because of the needle like leaves and because of the presence of one waxy coating on the leaf the snow or the water could not collect on them and prevent them from rotting understood so these are some adaptive features of the trees grow on mountains understood children there are some flowerless plants also in higher classes you will study about flowering plants and non flowering plants for this class you only know that there are some flowerless plants like mosses ferns these also grow on mountains adapting this the cold condition of the hilly or mountain region now come to the next the second one that is plains children we all live on plains okay and a large varieties of plants grow on plains the trees or the plants the trees which grow on plants or the uh, grow, grow on plains have several branches and leaves also on plains plants like trees shrubs herbs climbers and creepers can be found they can grow easily they can survive okay the trees have several branches with leaves as the climate of the plains is also hot but the features of these trees help them to adapt this habitat the plain the climate of the plain habitat yes children the trees shed their leaves in autumn season in plains all of you know it in autumn season the trees living on plains shed their leaves now the some examples of trees uh, growing on plains are 
नीम असोका गुलमोहर पीपल मैंगो सीसम साल एटसेट्रा नाउ चिल्ड्रन कम टू द थर्ड वन दैट इज डेजर्ट ऑल ऑफ यू नो डेजर्ट हैव वेरी हॉट एंड ड्राई क्लाइमेट द सन सीट is very scorching the heat of the sun is unbearable and there is very little rainfall in the deserts but the plants grow in deserts have some special features means adaptive features which help them to survive in deserts in desert plants like cactus kikar or babul dead palms grow most of the plants have are without leaves or a very few leaves is present in them why this is related to chapter 7 which you have already learnt yes children leaves have stomata and the extra water is evaporated through the stomata to the atmosphere in a process that is known as transpiration okay the extra water is evaporated through the stomata from the plant body children now you think if a several leaves large number of leaves are present in desertic plants then what happen thousands of stomata are present and the water continuously evaporate from those stomata in desert there is little rainfall the soil is sandy in sandy soil there is much amount of air but less quantity of water present and if the water is evaporated from the stomata then the plants will die in the scarcity of water as there is little water in the soil also or sand also understood so the plants are without leaves or a few leaves are present in the plants here children you have one question then ma'am how the plants if there is no leaves in the plant then how could the plants photosynthesize yes the stems in desert plants the stems are bear chlorophyll they are green in color they have chlorophyll they are fleshy they store water and they perform photosynthesis got it and children in cactus or in kikar plant you will find thorns do you know the leaves are modified into thorns to prevent water loss there is no stomata on the thorns as there is no water loss from the plant body got it so children these are some adaptive features of the plants living in deserts okay today we have discussed about habitat adaptive features what is adaptation types of plants surviving on the earth surface terrestrial plants among terrestrial plants we studied about mountain plains and deserts the plants living in mountains plains and deserts and their adaptive features in our next class we will discuss about the plants grow on sea coast and the areas with heavy rainfall and aquatic plants okay all of you learn up to this carefully take care